For many, a Cessna 150 epitomizes fun and affordable flying. Ever see one brand new from the factory? Probably not. But one of the world's most pristine examples resides in Quincy, Illinois. Dennis Osmond restored his Cessna 150 to perfection after restoring the very first production Cessna 172. Why would you restore a Cessna 150? <laughs> <laughs> well, who would think of that? So, you know, you think, you know, historically, many of us as pilots started in a Cessna 150, and, you know, that's the very first thing we ever flew. And Did you learn I, to fly in a 150? I, I learned to fly in a 150. Me too. I, I yeah. had a 1976 150, and great flying airplane, and, um, you know, you, you just see so many 150s that sitting out on ramps, and they're not taken care of, and, to me, I, uh, it'd be nice to bring back something that you know was very special to all of us in aviation. And I was specifically looking for a 150. I wanted to do a 150. You know, yeah. originally with the 172, I didn't know what I was going to restore. Yeah. But this time, I, I wanted a 150. This airplane basically had been unmodified. It was not a flight school airplane. It was all original. Had 1,800 hours on it. Wow! What time? I kind of looked at it as, you know, it's 1,800 hours. That's TBO. And I thought, you know, let's do the whole airplane and let's, you know, not just overhaul the engine, which we did right here in the shop. Uh, me and my mechanic Rodney Halfpath. So we we did a full restoration, nose to tail. So one of the ways that you have to try to figure out, you know, really what was original is, I go back to the original sales pamphlets that, that Cessna would put out, and you can go through and see different details, like different colors are available. The, the instrument panel gives detail of exactly what everything looked like when, it, you know, when you picked it up from the dealer, you know, 1968. The seats were heavily worn. Uh, we were able to have Dennis Walter at Airmine help us with that and come up with the correct stitching on the seats with the, the correct vinyl and you know he did a great job with it. Did the same thing with our 172 as well uh, just to get it back to that original state. When you picked up your airplane brand new from the dealer in 1968 this is what it would have looked like and this is what we were going for. You know, the eyebrow, most of those are cracked, uh, so I was able to actually find a new old stock eyebrow and replace that. Uh, all the plastic is either original to the airplane or new old stock uh, from, you know, different sources. The uh, yokes had those uh, powder coated by a company that actually does powder coating uh, for these control yokes. And we went back with the original uh, steel semi-tubular rivets uh, to attach the yokes. Uh, going down here to the, the lower portion, when we had it all apart and were able to take the lower plastic portion off, if you look, all the lettering here is, uh, is actually embossed into the plastic. And to be able to go back original, what we did is we painted the plastic with uh, KRN uh, plastic paint. But of course that covers up your lettering, but the, uh, the embossing in, in the plastic was still there. I used just regular testers model paint. What I do is get the, the tiniest brush that I could find and I would fill each one of the, the letters with that white paint. You can see why Osmond's Cessna 150 won a Grand Champion Gold Lindy Award at AirVenture 2019. I love this airplane. It, it brings joy to me because it, it, it's a nice, fun airplane that at the end of the day, despite all the stresses you've had, all the problems you've had to deal with, you can come fly this airplane and, and just enjoy life. I couldn't agree more. Colin Stagnito, AOPA Live.